Good morning to all of you. I guess it's, it's better. I see some reaction also in the, in the row uh, behind. So uh, w welcome to, to everybody. Um, it looks like it uh, required a new university librarian in Göttingen to get the LPUB conference here. Um, so uh, it's a great thank to, to Wolfram Horstmann, uh, who is librarian here since 2014. Uh, to get the prestigious LPUP uh, conference uh, to Göttingen. Well, you know, in these past 20 years since the first conference in electronic publishing, we have witnessed a vast change in the way knowledge is produced and disseminated. Electronic publishing has become the norm rather than the exception. Since publishers have established digital workflows to produce and disseminate many of their more important journals. University libraries are spending at least as much money on digital licenses as on books and printed journals. Open access to scientific information is no longer only a visionary ideal, but has become an integral part of the way science works today at least in many disciplines, and I'm, I'm stressing this because as a university with a full range of disciplines except engineering, of course we still see differences in how people publish and, 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 and how they work. Consequently, the challenges we meet today are not so much aligned around the question if electronic publishing is the right way to do science, but rather how. For example, obstructions in the workflows can be minimized. Similarly, the notion that open access is, is a possible way to publish science is largely uncontested today, and the question we have to answer uh, it is rather how it should be implemented to best serve the needs of our researchers. This is something that I'm personally interested in and invested in in my role as Vice President of the University of Göttingen and the former librarian in Göttingen as well but also in the larger context of policy making on the national and European level. And um, you are all aware that, for example, the European University Association, the largest association of European universities, has, an ex has established an expert group at the end of 2015 to work on open science and has an a roadmap to open access which of course is not the first association to do this, but I guess has the largest impact due to the size um, of, of, member, of membership. They have more than 800 members in, in, in Europe. So I guess this is important, not talking about the open science policy platform that has been announced only, only very recently. To define and to implement new publication strategies in science and the policies that support these strategies, we will always have to take account the international perspective. And I'm saying this not only for the area of electronic publishing, but also as a representative of a university which has internationalization as a central pillar of its university strategy. We have a vice president for international strategy, which already demonstrates and underlines how important it is for us. And I know that this conference takes the international perspective seriously with keynotes from international scholars and many international participants. As the title of this year's conference suggests, it's almost important to combine the, the perspectives of different agents or stakeholders to develop electronic publishing further. We have to balance the needs of different agents and we should focus on our common goal creating the best possible infrastructures and services for researchers. Balancing is something that we across in a university environment come mainly if we talk to our faculties and if we talk about the topics in our academic senate. Because this is where on a university level the different perspectives come together and sometimes uh, we are confronted with different views and uh, we, we get uh, engaged discussions. I'm sure that you will dive into the depths of discussion on these as well as on related matters in the next two days. So let me now take a change of perspective. 20 years are a considerable time for a conference 
such as this. And they have allowed the community around uh, this conference to thrive. But these walls around us have witnessed far longer durations and profound changes over the last centuries. This is the place where the University of Göttingen was founded almost 300 years ago. The secularized Paulina Kirche witnessed and to an extent symbolizes the advent of enlightenment as it became the core of our modern library and as science replaced worship. Here, the spirit of enlightenment and, its, and of scientific curiosity took palpable shape in the form of countless documents, papers and books, all at the disposal of scientists who wanted to see ever further while standing on the shoulder of giants, as you know. Books have been at the center of knowledge production and dissemination for a long time. And even though they won't, won't be fully replaced by digital formats and electronic publishing, they have already become augmented and complemented by the possibilities of electronically driven techniques. I think and I hope you will agree that the library was and still is the perfect place to talk about how to best communicate knowledge and information. I hope you will all enjoy this conference. I wish you a pleasant stay. Hope you will take good memories and good insights from Göttingen. Thank you very much.